I think we figure out what's going on is we have a maniac in the house and we probably just need to leave, right? Let's just go. Let's just leave. Ooh, it is dark in here. Ooh, boy. All right, let's just go. Yep, let's, let's just... Oh my gosh. Hey, how's it going? My name is Bleat, and tonight we're playing Clap Clap. Hope you guys enjoy. Guys, I hope every single one of you hooligans are having a fantastic night. I'm having a good night. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling amped up and ready. I'm also feeling like I don't have any sound. <laughs> well, I, uh, it would, yeah, it would probably help if my headset was turned on. Okay, minor setback. We are good to go. Let's get in it. Clap, clap. I'm really excited. I'm excited to play this game. I love playing games like this. I love horror games. They're so good. All right, October 8th, 8th 1984. I saw an ad in the newspaper about a house sitting job. Since I was short on cash, I decided to sign up. Okay, that is very straightforward. That is as straightforward as it could possibly get. Quite the eerie neighborhood, huh? Find Maxim's house. Okay. Uh, let's go, let's just go to this first one right here. Let's talk to this, this person. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a house on the street. Could you help me out? Sure, which house are you looking for? I'm looking for Maxim's place. He hired me to look after it while he's away. Maxim? Huh, that's interesting. He usually asks me to watch his place. I'm Marco Batovsky, by the way. Nice to meet you, Marco. Can you tell me where his house is? Of course, it's two houses down. Mine's right here. Our neighbor Savo is in the middle and then Maxim's place. You can't miss it. Thanks, Marco. Appreciate it. No problem. Now, if you'll excuse me, I just got my home automation system in the mail. I'm really excited. I'm happy for you, Marco. Oh, that sounds interesting. What does it do? Well, it's supposed to make life a whole lot easier. You know, controlling the lights, temperature, even the security system. Pretty cool stuff. Wow, that does sound convenient. Why did you decide to get it? Partly because of the recent disappearances happening around here. But mainly because our neighbor Savo got one and won't stop raving about it. He left for vacation right after installing it. Said it was built-in surveillance systems and all. Said it has built-in surveillance systems. Guess he wanted to keep an eye on things while he's away. Well, I hope you enjoy setting it up. Thanks again for the directions, Marco. No problem. If you need anything, I'm just a house away. Clap, clap. Uh, clap, clap must be the name of the automation system. All right, so it's Marco's house here, and then Savo's house is right here. It's completely dark. Uh, no signs of life whatsoever. Of course, he's gone. He's away on a vacation, but, you know, is he really? Is Savo really gone on a vacation, or did he just die? This must be it. Warning, clap, clap, certified smart house surveillance. Man, I have said it before. And I'm, I've said, I've said it again, and I've said it, I've said that I've said it again, and I'm gonna keep on saying it. The graphics, I love these graphics. I love this art style, this pixelated art style. This is so cool. Hmm. I think the homeowner mentioned the keys would be in the backyard. I should go and check. Oh, okay, uh, that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. You leave for a vacation. You gotta hide your keys somewhere. Gotta hide your key somewhere, sneaky. I think they said they put it in the flower pots. Okay. Oh, here's a key. Ah, there they are. Let's see if these work. Can I get in the back? No, I can't. Okay. Got kind of quiet all of a sudden. Unlock the front door. Okay. I am on it. I am heading that way. Oh, it's, oh, it's kind of dark. Oh, it's kind of dark in here. Jeez Louise, man. Well, that's uh, welcoming. It's a really small entryway. They did say it was a smart house. Can I shut this door? Thank you. Read note on fridge. Okay. I will read note on fridge. There's a note on table. Can I read that one? All right, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll play the game. 
play the game. All right. Hey, thanks for house sitting. Please make sure to check the mailbox, water the plants, throw out the trash. Press Q to toggle the lights on and off in any room. Once you're finished, help yourself to the food in the kitchen. Okay. So check the mailbox, water the plants, throw out the trash. To do list, just like home. Oh, that's cool. I should take a quick tour, check out all the rooms. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's in here? Oh, wait. Ah, I, I forget. I can. I have the power to, to turn on any light I want in any room I want. Okay. Can I walk out? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's such a nice... That is such a nice feature to add. You don't just click the door. You click and drag. That's dope. Like, small stuff like that is just... That's so cool. I love that. Um, okay. Okay. Um, so let's look at the house real quick and let's also, oh, that's so dope. I love that you have to drag the, the, uh, the doors. Um, let's turn on all the lights. Okay. Explore, explore the rooms one out of six. So here's the laundry room. Let's go in here. Here's the garage. Now walk out. I leave through here. That is so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. So, garage. Um, okay, I can't open that door. All right, let's just keep going. Okay. Anything in here? Nothing there. So, I'm imagining the last few rooms are upstairs. Okay, so this is a room. Do not enter. Well, you know I gotta. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I imagine we'll be entering that room at some point, and not too long. Okay, four out of six. Oh, oh, oh! This is so cool. I'll tell you, the attention to detail is just sweet. Horror 101. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. What does this say? What is this? 300 jump scare ideas. Uh, okay. Yeah, these are just people. People I don't really don't know who they are. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's not be animals here. Okay, perfect. That works. Um. Alrighty. Hello. Coming in. Bathroom. Use. This is so cool. I love this. Does that duck have old man hair? It's got. He's got an old man haircut. Look at this. Look at this duck. Look at that duck. So that's this room. Oh. And last one is this one. House seems pretty normal. It does seem pretty normal. Let's tackle that to-do list. First up, gotta grab the mail. Can't leave that lying around. Okay. Let's go check the mailbox. Oh, actually, let me see. What does this say? Clap, clap, home automation systems, Clappertown, California, turning your house into a smart house. Order number 45,621. $97. Please come again. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Okay. Nothing too crazy. What is this? There's chips. <laughs> These are totally chips. That's, <laughs> that's funny. And how to be a mysterious killer. The other two books made sense. That one, not so much. That one's a little bit concerning. That one's very concerning, actually. Elements of fear. Okay. Let's put you back down on the floor there. Okay. Check the mail, water the plants, and something else. All right, what is this? Missing, please help. Kim calls Exxon, 25 years old, 170 pounds, five foot nine, last seen 20, 23rd September, 1984, on Salford Park, wearing a black sweater and black hat. He was doing house sitting services. For any information that can help us to find him, please call his family at 123-456-7890. Missing house sitter, huh? Sounds like the beginning of a mystery novel. So, 
I wonder what happened. Uh, all right, bill sorted. Um, time to show those plants some love. Can't have them wilting on me. No, you can't. Grab the watering can from the garage. Okay. Well, the music is kicking up a little bit. The music's kicking up a little bit. The music's sounding a little uneasy. A little tense. Okay, let's just do our job here. Let's just do our job. Um, wait, do I literally have to tilt this thing? Oh, I do. Oh, that's so... I gotta say, that is just so good. That's so good. These little details are what matters. And that is just... That's so cool. Oh, there's more plants. Wait. Wait. Alright, that'll work. That'll do. Okay, let's just walk right over here. Show these plants some love. Somebody's stepping. Somebody's foot stepping on the other side of that fence. Okay. Okay. Could just be a neighbor. Could just be a neighbor. That's all it can. I mean, it could just be a neighbor. There's other people here. There's other houses. There's other houses out there. All right. Next is taking out the trash from the kitchen. All right. Let's put this thing back in the garage. Let's put this can back in the garage. Let's not be slobs here. Okay, let's take the trash out. Wow, this bag's heavier than expected. And what's with these bones sticking out? Maybe I should lay off the detective novels for a while. No, I think you should question that. Very seriously question that. The whole bone thing. <sighs> Alright, let's just carry this literal bag of body parts to the trash can. <laughs> oh. You scared the poop out of me. Who are you? Oh, wait, I can. Okay, that got me. Who are you? Inspector Ristolino. I'm Agent Ristolino, Federal Investigation Bureau. I need to ask you a few questions. Have at it, man. Uh, sure, what's this about? There have been reports of disturbances in this area, disappearances, strange phenomena. We're conducting an investigation. Yeah, I've heard. Everything's fine here. Just taking out the trash. Are you sure? We're, we've reason to believe there's more to this neighborhood than meets the eye. Dude's face looks kind of weird. Yeah, 100%. Just taking out the trash, you know? I would talk to this guy. I would let him know my concerns. I would also say, hey man, there might be a body in this bag that I'm taking to the trash. And I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Alright, but keep your eyes and ears open. We need to get to the bottom of this. Of course, we will do. Thanks, Inspector. No problem. Safe, safe. S stay safe out there. Dude's hands look wild. I'm gonna follow this guy real quick. I'm gonna see what this guy's up to. Something doesn't feel right about him. His face looked kind of off. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? I know what I'm talking about. Just seemed like he might not be an inspector at all. He... Yeah, he's gonna kill me. That man's gonna kill me. Ooh, let's see what's in here. Anything in here? <laughs> Turns the light on in the trash can. I was hoping. That'd be kind of cool. All right, we need to we need to make sure we don't leave evidence of us being here. Can we just close the slit, please? There we go. Okay. You know what? I'm going to knock on this guy's door. Marco, I have some concerns, Marco. Uh, Marco, would you mind? Can I not? Oh, okay. I guess I just can't do anything here. Okay, well, I guess I'm on my own. I guess I'm on my own out here. I guess Marco isn't going to be a help after all. Let's check on Sabo. Let's see. Let's see what's in Sabo's trash can. Why is it so hard to open up trash cans in this game? Oh, clap, clap. Okay, nothing too spooky. Can we go in this guy's house? Can we go in Sabo's house? Nope. Okay. All right, I'm not even gonna try to go across the street. I'm just gonna stay on this side. I'm gonna stay over here. Throw out the trash. Okay, I did. I did throw out the trash. What else do I need to do? 
Oh. Okay. Get some food from the kitchen. Okay, I think that was the last thing on the list, right? Ooh, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Ooh, friend. Ooh, friendo. Oh, buddy, oh, pal. Wasn't expecting that. Was not quite expecting that. Let's go in the back. Let's go in the back side. Let's go in the back door. Let's go in the back door, because that's closer to the kitchen. I don't want to wander through the dark house. Oh, my. Oh, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I don't know if I would be getting food right now. Honestly, I think I would just leave. I think I would just go. I think I would just leave, leave the house. Check upstairs rooms. What does this one say? I didn't read this book. Elements of fear, or wait, maybe I did. I don't know. Okay, uh, okay, I will check upstairs. I'll check upstairs. Uh, can I get a snack first? Let me just get a snack real quick. Can I get a snack real quick? Honestly, I'm just wasting time. I'm wasting time because I don't want to go upstairs. If I'm being honest with you. If I'm being honest with you guys. Alright, let's try these rooms first. Alright guys, upstairs we go. Let's go upstairs. Well, the sign's taking off that room. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Just let me out. Hello? Hello? Okay. Normal. Okay. Why is that off again? Oh, it's probably because I, I did it. Okay. That's all right. Okay. I must be tired. Yeah, maybe. I should grab something to eat and go to sleep. What you should do... What you should really do is just go home. This house can sit itself. That's what I would do. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, I can interact with this now. Put cereal on bed upstairs. Okay, whatever you say. Let's put it right here so we don't put it on the floor. Let's open the door and let's grab our cereal. And let's back in. Oh, almost spilled it. Almost spilled our Fruit Loops. Perfect. Lay on the bed. Okay. 11.21 p.m. 11.21 p.m. Oh. Oh. Two forty three AM. Get up. Okay. What was that? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Figure out what is going on. I feel like you're gonna get murdered. I feel like we're gonna die. I feel like we're gonna be the next victim in this string of house sitting murders. How to kill a house how to kill a house sitter? I'm not worried. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about this. I came here to do a job, and I'm gonna do it. This house will be sat if I have anything to say about it. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. What is this? Dude, come on. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me when I'm, when I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Just let me be for a second. What does this one say? How to, how, how to get, what does that say? Spook tube, spook tubers to play your game. Am I a spook tube? Claw marks, huh? You think that's gonna scare me? You really think that's gonna scare the likes of this guy? Well, you're right. It does kind of scare me just a little. I really don't want to go in here. I really do not want to go in here. Because I feel like I might pass away. I feel like the guy with the long arms and the clappy hands is right outside this room. That's what I feel like. 
That's what I feel like. That's what I feel like. <sighs> boy. Oh boy. <sighs> Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we figure out what's going on is we have a maniac in the house and we probably just need to leave, right? Let's just go. Let's just leave. Ooh, it is dark in here. Ooh, boy. All right, let's just go. Yep, let's, let's just... Oh, my gosh. Okay, we can't leave. Guys, we can't... Guys, we can't leave. That's a problem. That's a problem. Let's try the back door. Ooh, let's try the back door. Let's try this back door. Oh, can't even grab it. Alrighty. Okay. Let's just turn this light on. Rubber ducky. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Okay, alright, we are running, but this is locked, right? That's locked, that's locked! Jump through the window. Okay, this one? Sure, let's do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Marco. Marco, buddy. Uh, Marco? Can I come talk to you real quick, Marco? I need to get as far away from here as possible. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I, oh. Oh my. Yeah, I think Marco's dead. Yeah, I think Marco is very dead. Yeah, Marco's gone. Okay, let's just get out of this neighborhood. Let's just leave. We don't need it. We don't need the money. We don't need the money for the house sitting. We're fine. We can get by with what we have. With with not being paid. With not staying here. We can... We should go. We should go. I kept running until I reached the nearest police station. While investigating the... Authorities found Marco's lifeless body in his house. Meanwhile, Maxim's remains were found stuffed in the trash bag outside his house. Yeah. Their neighbor Savo has disappeared under similar circumstances. His remains have yet to be found. Despite the eerie scratches on the walls and my harrowing account, no trace of the creature is ever discovered. The case remains unsolved, leaving an unsettling mystery behind. Thank you for playing my first ever indie horror game. I hope you enjoyed playing as much as I enjoyed making it. I will be releasing more horror games in the Nightmare File series. You can stay up to date on my YouTube channel, Ray Castley, or Twitter, Ray Castley. Thanks. Maxim. Oh, cool. So that's his name. That's the developer's name. Well, I gotta say, Mr. Maxim, your game was great. I mean, with this being your first indie horror game, well done. This one was up there. It had a, it was like quick, you know, it was quick to the point. Great little mechanics you that you put in there, like with the sliding doors and stuff. And the story was short and succinct and it built on itself really well. And the eeriness built on itself really well. So well done, Maxim. And I look forward to seeing more stuff by you. All right, guys. Well, that was my playthrough of Clap Clap. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care.